Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope. Uh, this is going to be, actually, it's going to be love and career and finance and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know for the month of November. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me or you'd like to take my six-week-long mentorship class, I've been teaching Charles since I've been 14 years old. Uh, that class is going to be covering a lot about intuition, development, um, and a lot of other things in nature, reality, and so forth, so on. So it's not just going to be a class on Tarot. Uh, it's going to be a lot of other things that I'm going to cover in that class as well. It's like omens and like signs and spiritual signs and stuff like that. So my beautiful darlings, if you're interested in taking my class, all my information is in the description box below, or you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com. Okay, so... We're going to be looking at love life first, and then we're going to be looking at your current finance, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know for the month of November. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, and let's see the card that just literally wanted to fly it down here. And we got the King of Pentacles energy. So, could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. There could be a solid energy here. So when you see the King of Pentacles, it's like a family oriented energy. It's like a long term kind of energy. So let's see how that's going to play out in your reading. So what do I feel like so far about your reading here? But let's just shuffle and see what comes through. All right. So it's going to have my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Leo's career and finance for the month of November. Show my cards you need to see, show my cards I need to see. Okay, what I see, I'll just talk about it in a second here once I lay down the cards. Okay, so this is gonna be the first half of November. This is gonna be the middle of November. This is going to be the end of November. Okay, so what I saw was a kite. I yeah, know, a kite, and it was flying really high. So I get the sense that the wind is gonna take you where you need to go. So go with the flow and something is going to take flight. Okay, so yeah, wow, there's some big changes coming in. We see that at the bottom of the deck there, transformational changes. We'll see what that's about. So there's a healing energy at the beginning of the month here with a temperance and there's a patientness until things come into balance. Let's see what that's about. What's gonna happen with my Leo romantic love life? Give me nine cards, my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Leo's career and finance for the month of November. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. Something about a friend here, doll card energy. Yeah, again, I see butterflies, changes, they're orange. So that's exciting because the orange is the color of enthusiasm. Okay, so butterflies represent transformational change. So what's gonna happen my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Leo's career in finance for the month of November. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Just keep seeing something about in the sky, the sky, the sky. Okay, sky. All right, we got uh, butterflies, we got a kite. Okay, so let's keep going. Someone feels bad about something, regrets. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. It's kind of my Leo's romantic love life for the month of November. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Take a look, you're gonna see something that you're not, not noticing yet. Something's gonna to come to the surface you're not noticing yet. Okay, there's a cautious energy here. Someone feels bad, they feel cautious, they wanna bring things into balance, they wanna heal the situation with you. There's a waiting around to see how things are gonna play out with Seven of Pentacles energy, an investment of time with a person. We see there's something about a marriage involved and an abrupt decision is being made.
All right, what's kind of my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Leo's career and finance for the month of November. Show my cards you need C. Show my cards you need C. Okay. So an action is going to be taken here to re re resolve some things that have been issues here with this situation. And someone's going to try to, because uh, they're very emotional and they want to overcome some obstacles here in the connection. So a decision is going to be made with the Two of Wands energy. I heard a horn outside. So horns are an omen. It's saying something, somebody wants to stop something. Okay. Because of burdens and challenges and feeling stuck. Okay, going further. They're going to talk with you about this, communicate this about the fact that they want to speak the truth. They want to bring this to light. Isn't that interesting? There's a feather in the sky. Okay, so. So it's like this person wants to get back on rhythm with you. Okay, so maybe you guys' schedules are off or they want to just get back on track here. They want to be on the same page. They want to be on the same page with you. Um, there's something about the situation that they feel they're not on the same page and they want something to change. Because there's, they're, they're, they love you. They have emotions here. They're, there's a lot of regrets about what happened, and it's like I don't want to get hurt here. And it's all it's happening all of a sudden. This, this is going to be a sudden conversation with the scythe card energy, uh, because this person just really wants to overcome some kind of obstacles in the connection and for this choice to be made. Okay, so see, there's an offer of love here, Ace of Cups energy. So there's an offer coming in of love. And we see this house, home, and family situation. I want to get you alone, talk with you alone. I want to give you this opportunity, this offer, key card energy. Yep, opportunity of love, true love. Okay, so there are strong desires here for a victory. I want to have a conversation with you. I want to drive this forward. I want to take charge of this. I want to move this forward. You make me happy, joyful. So you're going to have to make a decision very soon. Definitely you guys are looking very attractive. Okay. Or somebody, you realize your value and your worth. Okay. So someone's sitting back and they're looking at you like, oh my God, I find them so attractive. Okay. So an action is going to be taken. There's some very emotional action. Um, because the person finally finds the courage to speak a truth about this opportunity and the attraction. Okay. We see good news and love, Page of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Romance, Moon card energy. This person's in having a lot of despair about this isolation, this separation. And wants, wants to get you by yourself and not around other people wants to get you alone. So this person wants to get you alone because they feel like you're not on the same page or there's something that's out of rhythm here that they want to change. There's a lot of optimism here coming in. Um, let's keep going. Five of Pentacles at the end of the month is saying that there's concerns of loss. So you get some kind of good news or someone arrives or shows up to get your attention. They're like, it's time. The timing is right. And it's like you discover a lot of things about this person and their emotions. It all seems to be happening so fast, like a whirlwind. And there's concerns about missing this opportunity with the Four of Cups energy. And concerns about this lack of flexibility and someone wants this lack of flexibility to end. So it's like, I want to be patient. I want to invest time, seven of pentacles energy, see how things play out. Some of you guys may live far away from this person because I sell two travel cards now. Um, we see the voyage card and we got the chariot card. Because it's like something about this situation where it's like, obviously we have this 
uh, the beginning of the reading was something about a kite, right? It could be flying, right? Flying high, uh, you know, something out of reach, right? Um, wanting to um, have some kind of change. We saw at the bottom of the deck there was something about transformational change, wanting something to change. Okay, so there's an action being taken towards this opportunity because of there, there's like lo a lot of love and feelings to overcome obstacles. There's an attraction here and we see travel and speaking a truth and wanting to separate from others when it comes to this situation, Want, not wanting to be influenced by others or not wanting the others to influence the situation, having like a sense of freedom or uh, independence around it. Okay, so, yep, you're getting some kind of apology or wanting to have some kind of reconciliation when it comes to this ending towards a commitment. We see this ex-partner, someone from before and you're sitting back and you're thinking about this situation. Okay, so let's talk about it. So the central theme is you guys are getting a lot of attention, okay? We got the swan card in the middle. And someone found the courage, strength, or confidence to speak about this opportunity and we see travel and we see wanting to be free from this situation. There's actions being taken because of the deep emotions here and there's a lot of thinking about this truth. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So, I'm really cautious, defensive, I don't wanna get hurt. There's an offer being presented, a huge offer being presented of love. The timing is right. All of a sudden, it's like they're making, rushing you to make a decision because of this waiting around. So you're gonna have a conversation about this single and available to pursue, this isolation or separation from a person from before, person from the past or an infringing party. Look at the bottom of the deck. So this is delays and challenges. I wanna bring things into balance. I'm making a power move towards you. You're gonna get some knowledge, I told you. You're gonna find some stuff out about money and finance and a lot of soul searching and worry, stress, and self-doubt and try and stay hopeful. Okay, so we go further on this. I regret this situation. I feel bad about this. I just wanna get some time alone with you to get your attention. We see something about a marriage, a commitment, and happiness about this ending. Ending a stuck situation and a sense of despair over wanting a commitment or something pertaining to a wife, okay? Or someone there is a commitment to. Okay, so this friend, this loyalty, the devotion to this house, this family situation, and we see someone's visiting the main person to have a conversation about the lack of flexibility, about this jealousy, about this infringing situation with a strong temptation. Again, I hear a horn saying something about stopping something around burdens of responsibility and romance and concerns of an end. So there's a vital conversation that's gonna take place because that's the central theme. The birds card's coming out. And if we see this, the central theme of the tarot cards is the um, chariot card energy, which can talk about travel, which can talk about movement, so love offer and a movement and good news about love and a choice you have to make because someone's like been waiting around and it's like, I don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't want to lose out. I want to reconcile. I want to apologize. I want to fix this situation. Oh, let's make sure we don't put that below so we can do your creative finance. All right, so let me get some advice for you guys. advice for my Leos when it comes to a romantic love life with their highest best good for the best possible for them show me the cards you need to see show me the cards you need to see
Okay, so they're saying if you really want to accept this opportunity, you're going to have to let go of something else or not let another situation infringe upon this opportunity. You have to clear that away. Follow your inspiration and have motivation to take a break, take a, uh, to relax, to give yourself some time to think about this. Communicate what you want in a confident way and protect with what you want. It's saying that, uh, bring balance to your aura and have a sense of wellness in your abundance. So feel okay with this. So if this is the opportunity you want, don't uh, let this other situation infringe upon that opportunity. Clear that away, clear that out, and really give yourself some time to think about it. But know that you need to communicate and, and feel confident about this because you know your value and your worth. And uh, it's saying protect your situation that you want. There's going to be this massive transformational change, and you can find a creative solution if you listen to your intuition. Yeah, creatively, you'll find a solution here if you gain the courage, confidence here to give yourself some time to meditate and contemplate about this. Because you are very attractive, so you have options here. Um, you are about to get some kind of clarity. So give yourself some time to kind of think about this situation. It's going to get a little further on this. All right, so what else does Leo need to know that could help them for the month of November when it comes to romantic love? Life? Their highest best good for the best best will come for them for the month of November. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to Go forward fearlessly. There's a chariot card energy. You can have a victory, right? This uh, situation it has to be about self-respect, right? So um, it's about you know, commitment and your, knowing your value and your worth. And prayers can help with the situation. Lean on others for support. Detach from an unhealthy situation and know that you are protected. And it's saying that your home, family, situation, um, that there is a sense of um, uh, something, some of your higher self, your guidance, your angels are watching over you. So admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Know that your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. And stay positive in your thoughts. You can have positive results. So don't get caught up in the negativity, okay? Separate yourself from the situation. Go forward fearlessly of what you want, what's going to make you happy, okay? And lean on others for support if you need to. But just stay positive about the situation. Yes, that lot bottom deck is literally saying have a sense of humor that God is in charge <laughs> and that there's new beginnings and a fresh start for you. All right, my beautiful Leos, let's move into your career and finance. All right, eight of cups, three of wands. Wow, we got the chariot card again. It's definitely a double victory for you guys this month. Okay. Let's talk about it. All right, so it looks like you guys are gonna walk away from a situation because your opportunities are coming in and you are wielding your power there with the cherry card energy. There's some kind of communication, letter, message, document, email to the main person about a new situation, child card energy. Looks like you're gonna receive some positive turn of events. Looks like you're gonna be purchasing something uh, to go after what you want. And also that can be shopping, purchasing, doing something transactional. Okay. So by the middle of the month, you guys are in the place of, and let's go further on this, you see a miracle and you're like, wow, this could really secure my situation. And we see that something comes to light for you. Now, that is a travel card, too. You got two travel cards again. So when it comes to your current finance, there also could be some traveling going on here. All right, so you are really deeply thinking about the situation when it comes to your success and your happiness, and you're like, yeah, I'm making the best decision based on what I feel about this. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I'm going to fight for this stability and stableness because of this opportunity, and I want to say yes. There's this communication coming in, letter, message, document, and it's gonna cause a massive change. 
And it's like you're still having a little bit of self-doubt or you're concerned about some kind of a competition here or some issue. So you're trying to clear the air here and protect this. And um, I feel like you guys are trying to be loyal to a situation. All right, you're standing back and you're looking at this and you're like, okay, how can I assess this situation? So you had some delays and challenges before, but you're about to see some really big miracle changes here. Something you thought was impossible is now possible. And something is gonna to come to light when it comes to your sense of security. We see that there's travel, movement, a change. And it's like, you're like relieved because you, it's like a clearing of the air and something's gonna grow from that. You're protecting that situation and letting it grow and being pure in your intentions. So you're about to make some kind of sacrifice at the end of the month when it comes to something that's been growing towards loyalty and devotion, towards this potential. Interesting, you guys have a lot of trees in your reading today. Um, some of you guys may be dealing with some kind of land thing uh, or something about, uh, maybe some of you guys are a florist, okay? Or there's just a lot of abundance of growth coming in for you, okay? We got the uh, Knight of Swords energy. So, excuse me, Page of Swords energy. You have some kind of new idea. You're thinking outside of the box. You have an, a, a new understanding of something here. Yeah, book card shows a book or something to do with knowledge. There's going to be this massive change here coming in at the end of the month. And it, it's going to go in your favor. There is some kind of truth that's going to be spoken. All of a sudden, Scythe card energy. Oh my God, you're shocked and surprised about the money of this. And so you're giving it time to see how things play out. Oh my God, so there's a lot of money coming in by the end of the month. Okay, so we got this, this miracle that's gonna take place and it's like, like either you're resolving something that has been causing you some kind of issues, like you're clearing the air, you're cleansing it, you're fixing it, um, and you have this potential idea or this potential thing that is gonna bring you such security and you are protecting this and it's gonna go in your favor. We see traveling and we see loyalty to being patient and letting things kind of play out. Okay. So at first you receive a little bit of value here or there's some positive turn of events because you get some kind of letter, message, document, paperwork, okay, something written there. And there's loyalty and devotion to this transaction and we see massive changes here and a shock and surprise. And it's like you're gonna go after what you want. And uh, we see that there's some self-doubt or this competition or this infringing party or some issue here, but we see there's a lot of money at stake here by the end of the month. Could be uh, dealing with a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So there is a stable situation coming in with the anchor card energy because Anchor is a very good card for career and finance with Lenormand. You get a letter, message, document, paperwork, and you're debating and arguing about fixing, healing, letting something grow, main person. We see the stability and stables and knowledge or something about this book or um, something that, uh, some kind of uh, information you find out about this new situation and this opportunity really shocks and surprises you. You're just not sure if you want to walk away from something here at first. Then you do some contemplation about it and you're like, I can make some sacrifices. Then the opportunities come in and Sun Card talks about success. I mean, that's material abundance right there, Sun Card energy. And you get new understanding, new perspective of this. And you're like, wow, okay, I have a victory here. Maybe some of you guys have to even travel to this 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy and this Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. It's like um, you're taking a leadership role for what you love and speaking your truth about it, Queen of Swords. Because the central theme is Sun card. It's like the best card in the deck. And also we're talking about material abundance, okay? So career and finance, wow. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Leos when it comes to their credit finance for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them for the month of November? What should they do? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, so if this has to do with like an idea, guys, you want to protect that idea, saying sh shield yourself. And believe and trust it's possible, okay? Yeah, it's again, it's talking about protecting and shielding this. And go with your feelings on this. With something that you love. Because this is a part of your life purpose. Wow. Wow. This situation is already resolved. So prayers can help with the situation. And it's time to deal with this unhealthy situation. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation alone so you can have a favorable outcome. Yep, and it's saying that prayers can help with the situation, detach from that situation. It's saying not to take things so seriously and to know that it will be safe for you to take a risk. Because the innocence card is like the full card energy. But let's get a little bit more clear cut than that. What else does Leo need to know about their current finance that can help them in the month of November? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Again, it's saying trust your emotions on this. And it looks like there could be some type of partnership there. Let something come to light. You're gonna find out some information, which will give you a sense of security. You are going to be amazed and at all about this opportunity. So be pure in your intentions. You see there's some traveling here or a voyage ahead. You need to protect this and clear the air. When it comes to stagnation or stuck energy, things will be resolved. You have blessings coming in. Yep, you're about to see a miracle. Wow. Okay, let's get you guys uh, some advice for your, uh, what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help you. Let's move this out of the way. So what does Leo need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that could help them for the month of November? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Reveal what needs to be seen. Go deeper beneath the surface. Attend to these details. Okay, so let's talk about it. So it looks like someone's meditating, they're contemplating, and they're giving that time for the, the alone. And they're looking out of the horizon at these emotions about the situation, about the future. And they're seeing that you need to go beneath the surface not be surface about it, but go beneath, go deeper, and look at the details of this. There are some things that have to be cleared away or cleared out, and you need to trust that everything will be well. Trust the universe, trust that things are happening for a reason. You gotta be real here. See the bigger picture, and you're gonna shine. So, don't see it from the ego's perspective, right? Our personality. See it from the higher perspective. Your higher perspective always knows the bigger picture. So tune into that energy and listen to your guidance. All right, my beautiful Leos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if you want to claim this message, if this message resonates with you, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. And also, if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, or you would like to take my six-week long mentorship class, um, all the information is in the description box below. You can go to my website, jenniferwalkersn.com, and I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple of days, and I will see you guys soon.